guys, it's Mrs. Ellis here. Hope you're doing well. Here's a video on understanding how to uh, navigate those 16th notes that you're going to start seeing in your music. So step number one would be to make sure that you can um, identify the difference between eighth notes and 16th notes. Remember, your eighth notes have the single beam right here, whereas your 16th notes have the double beams. So when you're dealing with 16th notes, this is the most basic one that you'll see, a group of four of them. And the rem is the four fingers that I'm holding up right now, the one, the E, the and, and the a. Uh. So four separate 16th notes would be one, E, and a. Uh. Now, if you get your four 16th notes still, like you do up in the top left-hand corner, if we were to combine the pinky and the ring finger, we would get the single eighth note right there. So what we would be left with is the and and the a. Uh. So this rhythm is one and a. Uh. Another grouping that you might see in your music would be when you have the first two sixteenth notes separated and then you've got your middle finger and index finger hooked together to form the eighth note right here. That's the same as if you were to uh, tie the two sixteenth notes at the end right there, and you would get one E and, like so. Another one that you would see, not as common, but you will see it, is when you've got the middle two hooked together. That's like tying the two middle sixteenths together like that. And what you're left with is one E. Uh. Another more common one you'll see as we move ahead is when you have the dotted eighth note. Remember what the dot means to do. It means to take the eighth note otherwise those two notes hook together and add half of its value. So now you're gonna hook those three fingers together and you're gonna, it's kind of like what you do here with the ties and you're left with one, ah. And the last grouping that you're gonna see is when you have the single 16th note by itself and then that dotted eighth note after it and then you're gonna get one E. Again, it's like hooking the three 16th notes at the end together. So I hope this helps you figure out the 16th rhythms that you might encounter in the music that you're about to play. I hope this helps and have a great day.